Coming into last night, the Rams looked like they were going to be sellers. You, but you got Puka Nakua back and you got Cooper Cup back. And they're now three and four. So the season far from over for the Rams because the NFC West, it looked like it was the Niners and the Niners were going to run away with this. That's not the case. Riddled with injuries. Cardinals, they're a few pieces slash years away. Seattle, the only team in the division with a winning record. So the Rams... All right, maybe they're not Super Bowl contenders, but they're certainly contenders to make it back to the playoffs. You got a great coach, you got a great quarterback, you got two really good wide receivers, good running back, and becoming sellers at the trade deadline may be a little premature for a team that has a lot of talent. And you saw that last night. Now, there was a play late in the game, under two minutes to go. Sam Darnold gets sacked in the end zone for a safety. They're down eight. Now they're down 10. There was a face mask on the play. And uh, Al Michaels and Kirk Herbstreet, who were doing the game, and uh, they described it this way. He got a hold of something there. Let's see. Yeah, he got that face mask. He sure did. Yep. And they cannot review that. But he definitely got the, the face mask right there. I mean, anytime you see a guy's head get spun backwards, something happened. And he got away with one right there. And Viking fans are going, what the hell? There's a lot of different things you can review. <laughs> yeah. And you... There's Jones. Jones saying, hey, man, don't, you got to call that. <laughs> I missed it. Wow. How about a what the hell from Al? What late the late the into hell? the evening. <laughs> what? <laughs> late <laughs> into the <laughs> evening. So uh, up by eight. Now they're up by 10. And no more drama left in the game. This is what I don't understand. If I'm to listen and believe what the NFL says with their officials, you have an official who is looking at the line, the line play, offensive, certainly defensive line. And then you have a referee who's looking at the quarterback. How does one of those two not see a lineman grabbing Sam Darnold's face mask or just the body language of how he contorted back and the official whose job is to watch the quarterback? How do you miss that? You can't review it. And it was an obvious face mask. Now, I, granted, if they're down nine as opposed to eight, we're probably not up in arms about this. But you do have a chance. Now, I don't think they had time, uh, any timeouts left, and they had to go 80 yards and get a two-point conversion. We know all of that. But you're watching that, and it's a standalone game, and they missed it. Not reviewable. Now, I wondered, since it was a scoring play, is there a loophole that it's a scoring play, even though it's a safety, but there would have been a penalty on the play? I, from what I'm told, you can't review that. That's not the loophole. It's a score. All scoring plays are reviewed, but you can't review a scoring play like that because then you'd have to call a penalty, and you can't do that. So I've been told. But I thought there might be a loophole where you go, well, that's a scoring play. I mean, uh, they did score two, but you can't add a flag to a play. <laughs> I thought, oh, man, this is going to be genius tomorrow on the show. And then I came in, and then uh, the Danettes shot me down. They're like, uh, no, can't, you can't add a flag. And I'm like, okay, fair enough. But this is one of those moments where we see it. It's right in front of us. And then the officials are like, uh, I guess we missed it. I don't know if anything to do with face mask is going to be reviewable. I don't think everything should be reviewed, but I think there are certain things that in certain situations. Now, I don't know under two minutes to go, can you review something? Uh, challenge flag, anything like that. Something that's egregious like that and does uh, have a big impact on the outcome of the game. I thought maybe... This is something the NFL, all it takes is a moment, a standalone moment. That's when the NFL changes things. When somebody gets hurt or how they get hurt or a scoring play, hey, we're going to review, push, tush, we're going to review all of these things. That's what it takes. They never go, you know what? What happens if this happens? It's always that happened, now they react to it. I don't know if they change next year. Where they go, hey, any face mask or questionable face mask penalties, we're going to make those reviewable. I don't want everything reviewed. But given gambling, I think you got to be careful. You know, you got to err to the side of we did everything we could do 
to look at this, investigate this, to get the call right. But I don't want everything under review. Yes, Paulie. Social media last night had a lot of reaction like this. People thought that NFL has this sky judge system in place for just this type of situation, a tight game situation with a clearly missed call, and they've called down to the officials before. And a lot of people think that that's a part of the NFL. While you say rightly that they can't review this play, it does seem in the past two years there's been a little sky judge New York call down fix things movement, and why didn't it happen here? That was a lot of people on social media last night. Here's Kevin O'Connell, the Vikings head coach. What did you think of the uh, non-call on the parent face mask there at the end? Yeah, uh, you know, it looked like he got a pretty good amount of face mask there. Not going to get into the call or no call and all that stuff. Uh, it's just uh, I told our team officiating and all that stuff like, for us to talk about that, for us to um, seek comfort in that is not how we're going to respond to this. It's just not going to happen. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing right now. Uh, I really don't have a comment on whether it was a, it looked like he got a piece of the face mask, but um, they didn't think so. So they didn't throw the flag. Yeah. He doesn't want to get fined there. You don't, you don't have to necessarily read between the lines. You know exactly what he's saying here. When Stafford, Williams, their running back, Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua have all been in the lineup. The Rams are 7-3 and three and average nearly 28 points per game and nearly 400 yards of offense per game. That's where you, if they stay healthy, they can win this division. I thought they were a playoff team when the season started. You have injuries. Everybody has injuries. Now you got guys getting healthy. I know there was talk about Cooper Cup being traded. He could still be traded. But from what I was told, my source said, if they lost that game last night, then Cooper Cup was probably going to be dealt. I mean, that's a very fine line here because they're a game back. Seattle's leading the division. The Niners are banged up. Arizona, probably not going anywhere. I think Seattle's a really good team, but you still have a chance. It's hard to be a seller when you're that close to maybe winning the division. But we saw that with the Rams last night. You got a great coach. Stafford was wonderful last night. Uh, Nakua and Cooper Cup, awesome when they're healthy and obviously dangerous.